do you let people know when their verse is trash? They'll know. <laughs> have you in ever told way, somebody? In, huh? Have you ever told somebody that I don't like their verse? No. Okay. I just um never released a song or just are you talking about the verse on my shit or just the verse in general? Mm. If it's your song, that's your business. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you my if, like, like if we like dogs for real, I'm gonna be mm. like, hey. That ain't the one. <laughs> yeah, like, but yeah. if, if if I'm in the studio and your shit just booky and we cool, I'm you know, that's your shit. That's just cause you gotta be if we live in a different world, I would be on that type of time. But mm-hmm. you gotta understand that people really in this world think that you hating on them. Like that's a real thing. Like yeah. you could tell somebody like, hey, that ain't it. That bitch was hating on me. I knew that bitch was hating on me. She wanna be like me for real. And she wanna see me down. She don't wanna see me. So you can't do shit like that no mm-hmm. more. You can't really give, you can't really be, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I don't know, like, people just can't take control. Criticism. They can't. And yeah. then, the thing is, some people need that so they can, like... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you my sure. friend for real, then you know my character, yeah, you know me. Know, so yeah. I'll be, I'm will be i comfortable with telling you, like, that shit ain't it. But I've had people that um, I did songs with, No Shade. But I didn't did songs with people, and I ain't fuck with that shit. But I just... Mm-hmm. Just won't ever yeah. want to hear that it's song. Like in the, it's, just, it's in the In box. the archive. Who is it? I'm just Get the fuck out my face. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a better music catalog, Tupac or Biggie? Or DMX? Tupac or DMX? Mm-hmm. That's random. I would have rather you ask me Tupac and Biggie. Well, Because the Tupac and DMX, that's like... Tupac and Biggie was actually beefing, so I could pick. And I say Tupac. Fuck with Pac, man. I fuck with Tupac. My mama from California. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I just grew up on Tupac. Uh, like, yeah. no cap, I, don't, I ain't never really grew up... I ain't grew up on Biggie, so... Okay. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. Tupac, I fuck with him. Um, DMX, I fuck with DMX too, real bad. Like, yeah. so Tupac and DMX is in the same bracket for me. Biggie ain't never really. Yeah, never really, okay. Yeah, okay. so. They be for stupid too, by the way. Who? Uh, Tupac and Biggie? Oh, yeah. Both of them, sure. it pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie, I get like, I overthink a lot of shit. So mm-hmm. like, seeing that movie and shit, I be thinking about shit like, bro, these niggas both could have lived. Literally, yeah. yeah. Y'all could have lived and been like icons. I, y'all wanna beef yeah. over dumb shit. Rest in peace, boys. Much, though yeah, it was so much shit. It was like, okay, yeah, it was like, it's like movies, like, shows, and shit. Like, nigga, well, who in the fucking wrong? Bro, people like, just uh, people. That's what I'm saying. All this shit really just not real. Like, people, I would never get caught up in this shit. I, oh yeah. god, I would never ever. It I'm not beefing with nobody. I swear, I just tweeted. I said I'm not never putting my hands on nobody. Mm-hmm. No, like this shit is done. Like, I don't have. I don't yeah. want no smoke with nobody. But like you like, said, like, a, lot of this, a lot of beef come in between from outsiders, fans and shit, like outsiders. Said, and I'm a real ass bitch. I feel like if I got a problem or I feel like anything is to be skeptical, anything to be skeptical about, I'm gonna go straight to the source immediately yeah. behind uh-huh. closed doors. I don't really do that. And I just cut social off social media shit. I just yeah, cut yeah. off my best friend over some social media shit. I really don't play them social media mm-hmm. games. Yeah, nah. I don't do that. Everything, all this, all shits and giggles to me. Yeah. Facts. Honestly, for entertainment purposes only. Exactly. <laughs> my <laughs> business is my business. This is uh-huh. like a career, mm-hmm. like. All this, be, get, everybody getting all personal and shit like that, and mm-hmm. that was, that's not for y'all. Y'all supposed to hear this music, that's it. suck it up, and go on about y'all business. Eat mm-hmm. this shit up and go on ahead. Like, we ain't doing none of that. I keep my mama private, my parents' pages private. All that is private. Mm-hmm. I do not play about my personal business. You got to, bro. Motherfuckers ain't coming to the house. Ain't none of that going on. I don't play about my personal space at all. Mm-hmm. I take that shit very seriously. Same. Mm-hmm. My peace. What's the most expensive gift you ever received? From a man? Um, probably my dog. Oh. Rocco. Rocco. He was, he was a Christmas gift. Oh, shout out to Rocco. How much Rocco would? I don't know, actually. It was a Christmas gift, but I know he a Frenchie, and yeah, Rocco he was the only a, boy. Rocco got a little. jacket. Rocco got a, uh, a chain. stroller, Rocco, a chain. Yeah. Rocco costs a good penny. He don't play. Um, mm-hmm. But I feel like, honestly... That person that got me Rocco, I feel like all my all them all the gifts he didn't got me, mm-hmm. that's somebody more gifts. So we good to go. Shit. So all his gifts and everything, that's we yeah. good. All his gifts are good. Them the most expensive gifts I ever got. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord, for him. Thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord have mercy, bless his soul. Don't let nothing happen to him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, for let the rest him, of our let days. Him use you. Amen. Hallelujah. So are you in a relationship? I'm in something. I'm in a little something, something with a little same thing. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But You're it's, happy, happy. I am more than happy. That's I am That's only cool. literally the only problems I've been having through all of this is just like I'm not gonna cap the whole like losing your friends thing and mm-hmm. 
everything changing. I, I, I'm a strong believer in God. I'm very God fearing. So like I do pray a lot. Um, one day one of my friends told me, well, actually my manager out there, mm-hmm. my road manager, he asked me, um, you know, like one day, like take time out of your day one day and just, you really got to like ask God to like weave out the motherfuckers that's not supposed to be around. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to lie. People might take it however they want, but everything I ever asked God for has happened to me. I'm mm-hmm. a strong believer in walking in my truth and, Making everything, you know what I'm saying? I feel like as long as you're being genuine, like I always say in all my interviews, as long as mm-hmm. you're being genuine, genuine yep. and you living mm-hmm. righteous, then everything gonna fall in place. Um, mm-hmm. When you live, I believe in karma. So I don't sure. do no, I don't like doing wrong by nobody. I don't mm-hmm. steal, I don't do none of that shit. I don't fuck with none of that. We don't get down like that. I believe yeah. in karma for real. So like, yeah. Um, one day I really just asked God to like weave out everybody in my life that's not supposed to be around. Mm-hmm. And... Mm-hmm. Motherfucker started going left and right. All yeah. the bitches that I started off with, like my best friend, mm-hmm. since I was 15, 16 years old, that ain't my best friend no more. Yeah. Like, motherfucker, everybody just start changing up. And I feel like, like I said before, when we was talking about um, women rap, people are afraid of change. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's people that you might fuck with that, like, at one point in time, y'all related, y'all got along on a certain standpoint, mm-hmm. and um, y'all hung out because you was in a certain place in your life. But once you start elevating and they don't elevate with you, it becomes so you become competition to people, even though you're not looking at it like that. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like they put it in their head though, like right, the, the like, competition. It's yeah. like that. So in me, like I said, I'm a very genuine person. All this shit very intimate to me. Like, mm-hmm. like every single thing I do is very like I've been doing. My dad was involved in music, so I've been like involved in music, really, yeah. doing a little different shit. But I had to wait and make sure like the mm-hmm. time was perfect for me. So I knew what voice I wanted to have, what I wanted to talk about, shit like that. So mm-hmm. everything real intimate, intimate um, for me. And like like I yeah. said, I like my space and my mm-hmm. peace protected. Yeah. So I had to like, I literally don't mm-hmm. have no more friends like that. I got mm-hmm. hella acquaintances and mm-hmm. shit like that. But this whole process has definitely made me more yeah. cautious of my surroundings. So ever since yeah. you started doing music, you yeah. know, you up and coming. But like yeah. my little boo thing, mm-hmm. he helped a lot. He really yeah. do. And we work together. That's He's good. involved in shit too. So it's mm. like, but everything's kind of on the blow. We keep it on. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Keep That's it good. Up. Keep it right up. But everything, everything closer. Everything, uh, everything else is all the bad shit. Really, just like yeah, okay. the cliche shit you hear about mm-hmm. is actually true though. Okay. Feel me? Yeah. Okay. All right. Trust me, we lived it. Yeah. Yeah. We got. That's what I'm saying. Me. I know. I I seen you before you seen me. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. You funny as hell. Oh, That's why I'm just like I don't really like beat your ass right now. You, <laughs> are you so you act so you really you funny. thought you was gonna put my hands on a woman so I can't respond. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But not for real though. Like you, you far too on God. Like I've seen you from like the beginning of you being like I really I know who you are. Oh, like when real. you hit me up, I. I knew who you were, so I was like, "Yeah, let's go." Normally, I'd be like, uh, "I don't know if I want to do because yeah, I don't be I'm, look. I'm all I'm, I'm all about business, but I fuck with you. Like I, mm-hmm. I fuck with uh, like you, all the little funny niggas, Drewski, Marco, mm-hmm. uh, what's it, Dez. Dez yeah. All y'all yeah. niggas really like funny to me because I I appreciate people that are authentic and they being they self. Mm-hmm. I fuck with that. Like even talking to y'all right now, like normally I'd be a little, and my role manager will tell y'all like. I'm ve- like I said, I'm very cautious about my space and who I'm around. Mm-hmm. I me, I feel like I could talk to y'all. Me coming up here talking about that shit, I was talking to y'all about. Yeah, right? early, yeah. Like that's like some. And we edit it out. Yeah, we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like I really, I feel like y'all. I, I'm very good on reading energy and like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I feel like y'all got a very comforting aura yeah. about y'all. I fuck with you being yourself, literally, like. Yeah. Nigga, you don't do much. Like, you be chilling, like, on some yeah, real shit. I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But guess what? Everything, I'm sure your shit come. Like, you you walking in your truth and everything oh, yeah. fall in line correctly. Sure. Yeah. And it's because you being your genuine self. Yeah. But I definitely fuck with you, though. Oh, God. Appreciate it. I know who you was before you hit me up. Well, I fuck okay. with you. It's real, man. Thank you. Wish I had, I wish I had the next question. I'm just like... <laughs>